Alright, hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to disable and enable a device. So, we're going to start with program alter status. Our password is going to be the maintenance password, so it's all ones, or eight of them. Then press accept. So now press the alter status menu button. That's going to bring us up to this screen. And as you can see, the disable and enable menu is right here. So press that button. So now, this all my SLC devices are on node 1. So press the arrow key to the selected number you want to change. And then node 1. So, I'm going to be disabling a detector first. So... We don't have to do anything, it's already set to detector. Um, I don't currently have anything set to address 1 on detectors. So I'm going to move to address 2. And then press accept. So as you can see, enunciator smoke. Um, it tells you all the values here. Press disable. This could compromise the fire protection. Yes can but we want it disabled for now so now it shows you that it is disabled and if you were to look at the detector it would not be blinking or pulling right now showing that it is in fact disabled so if I were to go back over here the panel should be beeping yep so it's telling me that it is disabled so let's acknowledge that and the point disabled LED is lit. So if I go to my others by pressing the other event button, it shows it's disabled, it shows everything I need. So now let's say we want to re-enable it. Go back to the same thing, press in all ones, and then accept, alter status, disable, enable and then retype in the point so node 1 detector 2 detector 2 accept and then we want to enable it so now enable is in progress and now it is back to normal so now let's go back and show you what it looks like to disable a module so what I'll do is press enable disable and I'm going to disable the pull station that is right there next to the panel. So this is also on node 1 so put in node 1 but before you do that actually I made a mistake press this button to make it from detector to module. So this address is node 1 loop 1 module 2 just like that detector. Let's change the two, except, and then you can disable it the same way. Gives you the same message, but that doesn't matter. I also have that programmed into my ACM module, which is what you just heard beeping. And if you were to look at the pull station right now, it would not be pulling, just like that smoke detector. You can see it says disabled, we go back out. I already acknowledged it so it won't beep. But press the other button again. And it says disable. So if I were to pull it, like I just did, nothing would happen. So now let's re enable it. Go to the same thing. All ones. Accept. Alter status. Disable, enable, get back to module, node 1, module, whoops, 0 to accept, and enable. So now all that is enabled, 
and basically you could do that for anything on the SLC you could disable your outputs it's the same way it's module and then you type in your address number um yeah it's everything else for it is pretty self-explanatory so yeah that is pretty much it for this video thanks for watching I hope this helps see you